During story time, Miss Mary reads Amy's class a book about dragons. Dragons that hoard treasure. Dragons that blow fire. Dragons that fight knights in gleaming armor. Afterward, she tells everyone to make their own dragon. Make them special, she says. Make them yours. Sam draws a dragon with enormous teeth. He crafts the wings out of postage stamps. And Willa sculpts a dragon with a big fat belly. She strings daisies for the tail. Amy paints a dragon with a long, thin body. It has horns like a stag and claws like an eagle. Are you sure that's a dragon? Asks Sam. It doesn't look like a dragon, says Willa. Hmm, Amy says. Maybe they're right. Amy scribbles with her pencil and doodles with her crayons. She glues beads to the paper and some to her hair. Bits of dragons emerge. Dragons with shiny green scales dragons with leathery wings. They look great. They look just like the dragons in Miss Mary's book. But none of them work. None of them feel quite right. These dragons are not the dragons Amy wanted to make. Time to clean up, says Miss Mary. I'm not done, cries Amy. The rest of the class put their dragons on the show and tell table, but there's nothing from Amy. Nothing at all. Mm. Willa and Sam come over after school, but Amy can't even smile. Oh dear, says Amy's grandma. Why the sad face? Amy tells her. Her grandma gets a twinkle in her eye. Come, she says, let me tell you a story. She tells them about dragons that bring down the rain. Dragons that are wise and just. Dragons that fly without wings. Holy moly, a dragon that, that, that doesn't, doesn't have wings? Amy runs to the attic. She remembers where she got the idea for her dragon. She pulls out something red and yellow, something with a big fat snout and golden horns. A dragon, gasps Sam and Willa. A dragon, agrees Amy. Amy's grandma puts on the costume's head and Amy puts on the tail. Together, they dance down the attic steps and roar through the house. Maybe you can bring it to school, says Sam. Please, please bring it to school, begs Willa. Hmm, says Amy. She thinks about the dragons in Miss Mary's book. She thinks about the dragons in Grandma's story. Bringing this dragon to class would be great, but there's something missing, something to make the dragon Amy's. After Sam and Willa go home, Amy begins to plan. She shows her sketches to her family. Will you help me, she asks. It's very important to ask for help sometimes when you need it, especially with people you trust, like your family, your teachers. See, look, here they go. They measure out fabric and cut it into shape. They carve a cardboard frame and fasten the cloth. Amy knots together three silk scarves. Then she adds some beads. Look, at even the kitty cat's helping. Ready, says Grandma. Amy takes a deep breath. Ready, says Amy. Amy comes to school with a big paper bag. The other children gather around. Is it your dragon, says Willa. Show us, cries Sam. Amy puts on the dragon's head. She invites Willa and Sam beneath the dragon's tail. Together, they dance through the classroom and roar between the desks. Everybody cheers. 
Miss Mary laughs so hard she can't even breathe. Amy's dragon is red and yellow. It has a big fat snout and golden horns. It has enormous green wings and a tail of three silk scarves and beads and glitter, lots of glitter. It works splendidly. It feels just right. It is exactly the dragon Amy wanted to make. 